Is your home network setup causing frustration? Maybe your Wi-Fi doesn't reach every corner of your home. Or slow speeds are driving you crazy. If this sounds familiar, you're not alone. Many people face these same issues. Fortunately today, we're here to help you improve your home network setup. No technical expertise is needed. Welcome to Wondershare eDrawsoft YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna guide you through achieving seamless full home Wi-Fi coverage with mesh networking. Whether you're setting up a new home or upgrading your current setup, we'll show you how to eliminate dead zones and enjoy fast, reliable internet throughout your home. By creating a network setup diagram with eDraw Max and sharing it with your contractor, you can ensure everything is installed exactly how you want it, saving money by handling your planning yourself. Once everything is installed, making changes can be difficult and costly. So planning ahead with eDraw Max is the smartest move. Currently, there are two popular solutions for whole home Wi-Fi coverage. Mesh router networks and setups combining access points with a main router known as access controller and access points AC plus AP. Among these, mesh router networks are more popular thanks to their affordable pricing, solid performance, and a wide variety of brands. Plus, they're incredibly easy to set up, making them a top choice for many households. What makes a mesh networking setup even better is its flexible design. It supports wired, wireless, and hybrid connections, or a combination of both. Depending on your home's layout, mesh networks can be structured in different ways to ensure effortless internet coverage. For your understanding, we've provided comprehensive diagrams for major network configurations as follows. First is gonna be the wired network with a star topology. Second, a wired network with a chain topology. And third, wired network with a hybrid topology. Fourth, the hybrid wired and wireless network topology. When setting up a mesh network at home, the best option is still a wired mesh setup. And here is why. You get blazing fast speeds, as wired connections deliver consistently high speeds, especially since most modern routers now feature gigabit ports. Rock solid stability. Wired setups are far more stable and reliable compared to wireless ones. Wireless mesh systems are only worth considering if running cables isn't that practical. As we deep dive into the topic that we're talking about, I will help you understand a typical wired mesh network topology, which is being set up for a home. This will surely help you in strengthening your concepts involving mesh networks. In a standard network setup, two ethernet cables run from the main router to the low voltage box. One connects the fiber optic modem to the main router, and the other links to the main router to the secondary router as well, creating a wired backhaul. If your internet service provider provides IPTV service, you will need three ethernet cables from the main router to the low voltage box, one for IPTV, one for connecting the fiber optic modem to the main router, and one for the wired backhaul to the secondary router. For older homes with only a single ethernet cable running from the low voltage box to the living room and other rooms, you can use a switch for a single line multiplexing. This setup lets you maximize the single cable by connecting multiple devices through the switch L. If the fiber optic modem is in a bridge mode, a regular switch will work. If it's not in bridge mode, using a VLAN switch is recommended. If only one ethernet cable runs to the living room, but you need IPTV service and want the main router placed in the living room, using two VLAN switches will make this setup possible. Wireless mesh networking offers greater flexibility than wired setups. As long as the main router is connected to the fiber modem with an ethernet cable. It can wirelessly communicate with satellite routers via Wi-Fi. Most mesh routers available today support wireless networking. However, while wireless mesh networks are convenient, they do have some limitations. The main and satellite routers need to be placed within a reasonable distance, and there shouldn't be major obstacles between them. Otherwise, your network speed could drop significantly. For single-story homes, placing the router near the entryway or hallway works best. In multi-story homes, positioning the router at the stairway, landing, helps maximize coverage. If you want the best experience with wireless mesh networking and have the budget, consider upgrading to a tri-band mesh router. Dual band systems split the 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz bands between devices and backhaul traffic, which can slow things down. In contrast, tri-band mesh routers include one 2.4 gigahertz band and two five gigahertz bands, one dedicated to backhaul traffic. This setup keeps your internet connection fast and stable. Now that you know how to set up a mesh network, it's time to plan it out properly. Visualizing your network layout can save you time, money, and 
headaches during installation. That's where eDraw Max comes in. eDraw Max is an intuitive diagramming tool that makes it super easy to design detailed network diagrams, even if you're not a tech expert. By using one of eDraw Max's built-in templates, you can quickly map out your home network to ensure every device is connected efficiently. Here's how to create a home networking diagram using eDraw Max. Step one, open up eDraw Max. And what you're gonna do now is then go over to the more section on the right over here and choose network. Then select the home network template. As you can see, there's a bunch of them here. Scroll down, look around. Here it is, home network, there we go. Now what you can do is start customizing the template by removing the elements that you don't need and adding the elements that are necessary. For example, we're gonna remove the fax for this home template as uh, they're rarely used. I don't really need a fax machine, so let me just get rid of that right there. And you can drag and drop network elements like routers, switches, mesh nodes, and connected devices onto your canvas from over here. And you can adjust the locations on this setup as well. So you can see there's a wireless router right here that you can add to the setup as well over here. You can also use lines or arrows to connect different devices, indicating how each component links together. You can label these connections as wired or wireless for clarity. You can also double click on each icon to add custom labels such as main hub, wireless router, as I did here, I double clicked on it and I'm gonna type this wireless router and make sure that all the devices and connections are correct. Now, after all that, what you can do is you can use the design tab over here to further customize the diagram to make it more appealing. For example, if you wanna make it dark mode, you can go over here like this or change it to anything else style-wise that you'd like. Then from there, you can save your diagram and export it in the desired format, like PDF, for example, or anything else that you'd like by going here clicking on export and it's in a PDF. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thanks so much for watching our tutorial on how to set up your home network. If there's another topic that you'd like us to cover, make sure to drop a comment below. We're always excited to hear your suggestions. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more helpful eDraw Max tutorials. And check out the description for a link to try eDraw Max online or download it today. We'll see you in the next one.